Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today I'm just going to be showing an update on the SOF operators in Afghanistan. They're done now. The saw gunner and his mate who's covering him are finished. As you can see, the weapons are all on and I there's always that fall off. The, it's sort of like a, a climactic dropping off point where you work up to a point on a, a kid or a figure or something like that and all the works getting to this one pinnacle and then it all comes together in like 10 minutes and the kit completely transforms and all your work suddenly shows off hopefully for the better and as you can see there is not a single square centimeter on this figure that isn't covered by pastels or a filter I applied to both figures a MIG pigment, I think it's burnt umber, or no, it's dark mud with uh, mineral spirits to both figures' trousers and to some areas like the, the elbows and things like that where I wanted them to be particularly grimy. And then I cleared that away, but it discolors everything and subdues all the sharp lines on the camouflage patterns and things like that. Then I took just every sand pastel pigment that I had on hand and went to work blending them in and removing them from higher surfaces and then blending them in again about two times sort of a two-layer process on most of the areas as you can see with the woodland pattern you can it's almost unrecognizable but on a lot of the reference photos i've seen and some of the combat footage on youtube you can't even it's either faded or it's just filthy, which is how I wanted these guys to look. They are, after all, SF or maybe they're CIA Green Badgers or uh, SEALs or something like that working in the north with the Northern Alliance or down in Kabul or in like Tora Bora or Operation Anaconda, even maybe working alongside JTF2, something like that. So they're going to be filthy no matter what. I might do more work. Of course, the eyes haven't been finished, but that's sort of Personally, uh, it's the last thing that I do, so I'll take photographs of that when I do the, their eyes. Onto the saw gunner. Basically the same processes were applied to him. As you can see on his body armor there, you can barely tell that it's woodland, and especially on the back here, it's just a sort of a mess. But you can, if you look at it, I mean it's, it's obvious that it's woodland, but it's faded and filthy which is exactly what I was looking to do. These figures turned out to be very imposing. Uh, the, the fit was really, really crisp. There's no problems with them com being completed. Of course, I did dry fit all the parts before, which allowed the weapon hands to go on really well. Yeah. So, uh, look forward to the base being the next set of videos and the Tommy's War stuff is still in the works. My wet blending self-teaching is, uh, it's a slow process for me, but I'm getting along with it. Thanks very much for watching. Follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter for daily stock updates and news workbench stuff. I'll put the link to our homepage in the description below, highcaliberminiatures.com, where you can find these figures and many, many more like them. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.